Now, China's foreign ministry declined to confirm a rumored visit from President Duterte. But diplomats in the Philippines are in talks with its counterparts in Japan and China to arrange visits for the president at the end of next month. According to officials in Manila, dates were still being worked out for the proposed trips by the outspoken leader, several officials said, remaining anonymous because they were not yet authorized to speak to the media. Now, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Liu Kang, meanwhile, told media in Beijing that China welcomed Duterte's visit at an early date. China has already said several times that it welcomes President Duterte to visit China at an early date, and we hope he will visit soon. Both China and the Philippines are in close contact with each other. Regarding your second question, any two countries will have disagreements here and there between them, but are the disagreements really that big? We said this before, as long as both the Philippines and China continue to maintain the political will to reconcile our differences, there are no obstacles that cannot be overcome. Philippine relations with Japan are warm, but those with China have long been frosty over territorial wrangles in the South China Sea. China and the Philippines are trying to find a way to break the ice after a verdict by an arbitral court in The Hague in July invalidated China's claims to most of the South China Sea and gave Manila the legal high ground in the dispute.